everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I have to do this video all by myself today. But are you ready? Are you ready for the squat challenge? That's what this video is going to be about. But before we get into the squat challenge, let me tell you what I did today. Jim, I told him I'm not going to videotape this, but he he because he has to work the second shift this next few days. They, he, I guess he's running a machine for somebody of a part that they have to get out and it's a rush order kind of thing so he volunteered to, to to help out in that way but anyways while he was home the phone rang and I says well there's my telemarketer call and I answered the phone and the person said their name I can't remember the name I wish I could remember the name but it sounded very American the name did and I said oh that's a wonderful name and I says and yeah, congratulations to you and he goes for what And I said you're the first call I've received today and I feel kind of bored and I feel like chatting so you're gonna be the one that I'll chat with and he goes oh he goes I don't understand I says well when you don't have anything to do and no one to talk to I said the first phone call that comes in will be the person that I will talk to and it happens to be you and he goes, and he kind of says, oh, that's nice. And he was like, and I, and he asked me why I was bored. And I said, well, there's nothing going on. I was just taking care of the chickens. And I was taking care of Mr. Brown. And he goes, who's Mr. Brown? And I go, Mr. Brown is my chicken. And, I, and then I said, you're never going to believe this, but I have a chicken in the house. And I'm sure he thinks I was crazy, but, or making it up. I don't know whether he did or didn't. But I said, I don't know what Mr. Brown is because... He he's he looks sort of like a girl, but he looks like a boy, and he's got a lot of boy traits. And he goes to and then he was telling me that there are roosters that don't get their crown right away, and they don't get their saddle feathers right away. And he was he was going along with it really well. Then he says he tried to keep getting me back to the topic, which was my electric and my gas bill. And I said, oh, you know, with this coronavirus thing. I don't have a bill. He goes, do you have an old one? I go, no. I says, you know, they don't want you to go in. They make us drop it in a box, and then when, when, when the new bill comes, they will send back my receipt, so I have nothing to show for right now. And so he said, well, then I guess I will call, check the, he was going to check something, and then he would call me back. Well, he didn't call me back, but it was really a good conversation. And, and it's so funny because they are so sweet when they hang up on me. They they um, can't get what they want out of me, so they just they move along. Well, I wanted to tell you I'm going to do the squat challenge today. I have been practicing, and I brought in with me my notebook so I don't forget to, to mention what I want to mention. The squat challenge was actually started, I think, by... Brownie, B-R-O-W-N-E-Y, but it was also started by Luke Sherman. Luke Sherman is the one that I saw do it first after Grey Wolf Fitness. Grey Wolf did it first, and he mentioned Luke Sher Sherman, S-H-E-R-R-A-N, Sherman. And then Luke Sherman's mentioned Brownie, so I went there, and... I did the squat challenge, and I did, I was determined to do it for two minutes, and I did it for two and a half minutes is what I set the timer for, because when I was trying to figure out the timer, I had done it for two minutes, and then I was there for probably another half a minute trying to figure out how to make this timer ring, and when I by the time I figured it out, I figured I can do it probably for two and a half minutes, so that's what I did, and I want to show you what the scoring is, because... Um, they mentioned this also. I'll just hold it up to show you because, and I'll read it off of the camera if I can. Um, zero to 60 seconds is beginner. One minute to three minutes is intermediate. Three minutes to five minutes is advanced. Well, the light it glares. And then five minutes to 10 minutes, you're like, you're, um, a guru, I think. No, you're a pro. And then 10 minutes to 30 minutes. And they actually talked about people doing it for longer than 30 minutes. And I'm thinking, whoa, they got to have really strong muscles. And they're a guru. And then if you go beyond that, you're just out of this world. You can do, you're doing really good. 
Um, I also wanted to tell you that squats do not make your legs smaller. Squats will make your legs probably bigger because you're building muscle. You might even feel you might even gain weight doing this because you know muscle is heavier than fat. But your legs still are not going to get skinnier. You're going to get a nicer butt. You're going to have a bigger butt probably. And if they say, I like big butts, you know what, and the song, I don't even know it, but anyways, my kids would be singing it. They would know the words to it. I don't know the words to it. So let's go do that challenge and I'll come back after it's done and see what you think. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's got it set for two minutes and 30 seconds. I'm going to give it a try. Jim's not home, so I'll have to do this myself. He had to work and work tonight, so I'm doing this all by myself, so hopefully it works out. So let's get myself in position. And you probably can see me in the mirror. You can see my, my body in the mirror too, so you'll see my squat, because when I squat down, you won't see me as much, but you can see my reflection. Okay, we're gonna put it down. And the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to put your well, I, you're supposed to put your feet together like this. I can't show you because I'd have to tilt the camera. But you put your feet together, and then you you bring out your heels, bring out your toes, bring out your heels, bring out your toes, bring out your heels, bring out your toes, and you go five times. And that's how wide your stance should be. So my stance is let's see one, two, three four, five, and I'm right like this. Okay, now we're going to squat down and start my time. I started it. And now we can talk. Hi, this is not a very pretty picture. It's really not. So what you do is you twiddle your thumbs because you're trying to hold this position. See, I'm twiddling my thumbs. Did you know that twiddling your thumbs is actually the sign for, um, what was the sign for? For um, Quaker. It was the sign for Quaker. And um, then you pretend you've got, um, you pretend you've got, uh, what are these called, these arms? Like if you're doing a belly dance or a belly dance, snake arms, you can do that while you're doing this because you're trying to, Make the time pass. And, the, and then you can roll them up, roll them up, pat them. You can do whatever you think you can do to just kind of keep your mind off. Already it's been a minute and a half. I have left, I mean. One, two, three. I gotta keep going and I'm flying. I like the snake arms the best. And doo -doo -doo, and then roll them up. Ooh, and then twiddle your thumbs again. And snake, well, snake arms are this way, we'll forget. And belly dancing arms, like, like you put your, you do like your pointer, your thumb and your middle finger go together. I've got a minute left to make it to the minute, two and a half. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. And now I'm starting to feel the burn. It's coming, 48 seconds, 47, 46. I wanted to touch it because I don't want it to disappear. 43, 42. Oh, and it's not going to make it. I don't know if I'll make the two and a half. That's my goal. Whoa. This is getting like help. I've got 30 seconds left. I've got 27 seconds left. Whoa. This is hard. Oh, mama mia. I got 22, 21, 20. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go faster. Come on. Get going. Oh, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and it's done. Oh, oh, here's a bell. Here, it's ringing. I made it. Two and a half. That was not easy. I'll cancel. 
Oh, come on, you gotta stop. How do you stop? There, I guess I stopped it. Well, it was hard. The last little bit, I was just like the clock can't go fast enough. So if you would like to do the challenge, I would love to know that you've done it. And all you have to do is put hashtag um, squat challenge, I believe is what you do. You put a hashtag, hashtag by the squat challenge, and it will show up and we will all be doing this squat. It's not a pretty sight, let me tell you, but it's a, it's fun to do. My daughter did it with me the other night and she didn't get very far, but I have another daughter that probably would go forever because she's very athletic. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.